Hello everyone, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of my Terraria Calamity modded playthrough. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Today, my friends, we have something that I'd like to do. Check it out, guys. We have ourselves the jewel fish once again. We have ourselves something that's caught in the underground and caverns. So we're going to start off with another fishing quest. But also, guys, today, today, I want to explore the sky a little bit because I know for a fact... There's a whole bunch of awesome stuff going on in the sky with Calamity, with these so-called planetoids. I'd be very interested in exploring them because I've never seen them before. I've literally never ever seen them before. The last time I played Calamity uh, in my original playthroughs, there wasn't planetoids. So I'm looking forward to seeing what's going on there, my friends. I really, really am. But, of course, let's start out with a fishing quest. As per the norm, my friends, let's go and get some stuff done. We're going to the underground, and yeah, we're going to go get that jewel fish. Hey, and of course, guys, in the last episode, we took down the Eye of Cthulhu from a free spawn. So we're going to start getting ourselves some new NPCs, the Dryad, of course, being one of them. We should also start to get ourselves some of the NPCs from the Alchemist NPC mod, which will, of course, allow us to buy potions. Oh, that'd be absolutely beautiful, my friends. That really, really would. So, an old shoe. Ah, oh, jeez, man. Who wants an old shoe? Aha! Alchemist. You gotta love it, my friends. Oh, I'm very much looking forward to, uh, you know, going ahead and meeting the alchemist. Come on, we've got one bit of bait left, guys. We need that jewel fish. No, bass. No, bass. Go away, bass. Oh, and that's the final bit of bait. Well, it's a sad state of affairs when you run out of bait, but, uh, yep. Sadly, we have, and now we can't fish. Well, that sucks. All right, well, let's get back to base. The, uh, oh, the traveling, the traveling merchant is down here. Let's go and see what he's got to offer. I mean, last episode, or one of the previous episodes, he was an absolute bomb. Oh, wow, look at this. We could buy ourselves a whole bunch of building stuffs. Uh, yeah, why not? We've got the money to do so. Gypsy robe, paint sprayer, brick layer, celestial magnet. That's definitely going to be useful slightly later down the line. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to buy myself some more food as well. And, yeah, we're just about done. Well, guys, like I say, it's a bit of a sad state of affairs when you can't go ahead and actually uh, fish. But uh, it's all good. It's all good, my friends. It's it's all good. All right, let's have a look. So the old shoe can be used for Hermes boot and leather. Well, that's pretty interesting. With brown dye. Where the devil would you get brown dye from? Huh. Okay. So what about the tin can? Uh, can be used to make an aglet. Okay. Interesting. Oh, hello there, sir. Hey, I could go ahead and grab you for bait, little living wood mite. Yes. Yes. Good stuff. Good stuff. Hey, the brewer has arrived as well. Absolutely fantastic. Right. Are there any NPCs here that I could maybe do without? Uh, merchant, guide, demolitionist. Ooh, I feel like all of those guys would be useful, actually. Hmm, I don't know, man. I want to have that brewer over here because she is going to be very, very useful. Uh, all right, Demo, you're going away there, sir. Although, I don't think they're actually going to come along for a little while yet. So, yeah, all is well. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and grab the grav potion. And I guess we're just going to go ahead and use it and see what's up here. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. I'm excited, my friends. Are we going to find ourselves a planetoid right above us? That is the question. Uh, wow, this we're still going up. Still going up a long way. Wow. Okay, right. Come on. There's got to be something around here, whether it's just a regular sky island or perhaps a planetoid. I don't actually know. Uh, yeah, I don't really know how they spawn, where they spawn, if they only spawn in, like, the center of the map or whatever it may be. I literally have no idea. So, all we can do is have a little bit of a fly around and see what we can find. Hold the phone, guys. Hold the phone. I think we found something. Yes, we have. Look at that. We have. There's a planetoid up here. Oh, dang, dude. This is actually awesome. All right, well, uh, give me that. Thank you. Hey, there's a heart crystal in there. Don't mind if I do. Oh my gosh, guys. This is just the start. This is just the freaking start. There we go. There's gold bricks in here as well. I'm going to take... Oh my gosh. Can I like vein mine all of this? Oh, look at the sapphires, bro. Oh, dude. This is awesome. All right. Well, uh, yeah, we're definitely going to go ahead and mine out every single one of these. Uh, that was rather a lot of sapphires, wasn't it? So... 
No, don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Good day to you, sir. You are going to die. And there you go. <clears throat> oh, there's another one. Hello. All right. Uh, where is he? There he is. Don't kill me. Don't kill me, please. I really don't want to die. That would actually legitimately suck because that's the only grab potion I have. And I don't want to die, man. Dying sucks. Oh, there's something up here. It's another one. Hey. Right, what have we got here? We got ourselves another heart crystal. Okay. Are we only going to find heart crystals around here? Is that what's going to happen? Only heart crystals? I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to complain about only having heart crystals. You know what I'm saying? I'm never going to complain. But, you know, we might find something else. The jeweler has arrived. Hey. Awesome. I feel like I could have maybe spent my time a little bit better. Maybe if I didn't dig out these gold bricks, I probably could have made this last a bit longer. You know? All right. Well, anyways. Boop, boop. There we go. Looking absolutely beautiful. Uh, go up. Good day to you, sir. Goodbye to you, sir. All right, here we go. Off we go! Come on! I feel like we're going at a little bit faster of a speed now, my friends. We've got about 10 seconds to try and find ourselves another planetoid. And there is indeed one there. Oh, can I get there? Yep, I think I can. Okay. Yes! Okay, we're okay, guys. We're okay. We've got ourselves yet another heart crystal planetoid. Dude, these planetoids are awesome. I think they're absolutely fantastic, you know? Gives another reason to go exploring in your world, and rather like Minecraft, if there's more reasons to explore, then I really, really like it. So, yeah, it's as simple as that, really. All right, we've got platinum bricks as well. Who doesn't love platinum bricks? Absolutely beautiful. There we go, 360 health. Uh, the sad news is, uh, yeah, we've run out of grab potion at this point, so... Yeah. Hmm. I wonder if I could uh, use a teleport potion to get to another one. Hmm. That would be pretty cool, right? Yeah. All right. Let's go and give it a go. Let's go and give it a go. I think we could get something really, really cool going here. So, uh... Uh... Oh, whoa. Okay. Uh... Oh, wow. We're all the way over here. Oh, look at that. There's another heart crystal. Hey, man. That's pretty awesome. And not only that, but there's obsidian down here. And we can mine it. Wait. Uh, this, we appear to not be forming more obsidian. This is very, very weird. I'm a little bit concerned that the water physics are very much broken. Sir, how did you just survive that? That worm just went through the lava. I am so, I don't know what's going on right now, dude. Like, I'm a little bit freaked out. Oh, gosh. Okay. Apparently, you can move a lot quicker through freaking lava as well. Okay. Okay. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. All right, guys. We're up to 380 health now. Boop, there we go. And all we got to do is keep going, my friends. I don't think it'll be too long before we get ourselves up to the pre-hard mode maximum of 400. So, yeah. Don't mind if I do. Hey, guys. There's a lost girl in there. And you know what that means. We're in, like, revenge mode. So, we should be guaranteed a, uh, a metal detector here, right? Come on. Metal detector. 300 health, 200 health. Oh, it's so slow. It's so slow, but it's doing the job. Goodbye. There we go. Metal detector. Awesome. Oh, I'm pretty happy about that, actually. Hey! Let me alone, man. What have I ever done to you? Huh? All right, what do we got? Another enchanted boomerang. Okay, and some tungsten bars. Okay, I mean, I guess that's pretty cool. So, let's go chuck that away. I'll take the freaking chest. There's a pinky around here somewhere, apparently. That's very interesting. Uh... Yeah, that enchanted boomerang isn't as good as the other one, right? So, oof, I don't think we need it. I don't think we need it. So, how's about we keep going? Oh, Pinky's down there. Pinky! Oh, wait. No, that's not Pinky. Wait, where's Pinky then? Where's Pinky? Hey, where is he? I gotta find him. I gotta find him. Because he may drop a slime staff and stuff. That'll be awesome. Good day to you, sir. Oh, God. Yep. Oh, yeah. There's a, there's a ton of people down there. Oh, there he is. Pinky! Defeat him! Defeat him! Defeat the child! Go away! Oh, there we go. Huh, that was easy. All right, and we've got some diamonds. Oh, my gosh. Dude, we're absolutely freaking rolling in it today. We really are. This is nuts. Uh, sir, go away. There we go. Oh, my word. We are just getting absolutely schmung dingled here, guys. There's so many people who want to try and kill me. But they're not gonna, are they? They're not gonna. Alrighty, guys. We've got another two houses to take a look at. So, uh, I guess there's no reason why I shouldn't. We've got Flox Coral here. What the devil does that do? 
Alright, let's have a look. Flox coral can be placed as a material for various whatever things. Uh, so, yeah, anyways, we've got a Spelunker potion. Uh, I might just chuck this dynamite. Goodbye! Alright, well, yeah, that's kind of cool. <laughs> Alright, uh, strange plan. Eh, okay. We could maybe get dies out of that, but I'm not really that fussed about it. Uh, so, yeah, anyway, so let's go check out the other chest. I'd really like to try and get myself up to 400 health at this point, my friends. You know? I mean, at this point, it's just a case of, well, with this close, we might as well go for it, you know? Uh, so we've got a band of regen. We've already got one of those throwing knives, night owl potions. I'm just going to consume them. Just going to chuck those. Put that in the bin. Good day to you, sir. Oh, ugh, freaking. Oh, God. It's really, really cool how the granite elementals, they drop gold coins in revengeance mode. I think that's awesome. <laughs> Cool. All right, guys. Wow, look at that. We've got three suspicious looking eyes. If we really wanted to, we could take down the Eye of Cthulhu three times. I mean, how awesome would that be? That'd be pretty cool, right? <laughs> All right. Well, uh, yeah, guys, we are looking for a heart crystal of some description. Whether or not we're going to find one is another matter. Let's just keep going, huh? Uh, what? All right, uh, Mimic pre-hard mode, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so I wound up stepping on that pressure plate, and, uh, yeah, it spawned both a Mimic and, uh, a thing. Well, uh, well, that was a great thing to do, wasn't it? You stupid idiot python. You deserve to die for that. You deserve to die for that, you doofus. All right, well, uh, yeah, that was a thing. All right, how much did we explore down there? Not a whole bunch. Look at that. That's all we explored. It's not a lot, is it, guys? Not a lot. All right. Well, anyways, I guess uh, we could always go back down, use our other teleportation potions, see where it takes us. Maybe we can get ourselves our 400 health from that. So, yes. All right. But in the meantime, let's go and just quick stack everything away. We've got uh, quite a lot of obsidian here as well, which is absolutely beautiful. Uh, if I remember correctly, ah, that's how we get the low-end ores. We need obsidian. Aha! Okay, cool. Right, well, anyways, I'm going to put the obsidian in there. Uh, quick stack everything away. And, yeah, we're going to use our other teleportation potion, folks. And... Oh, we're somewhere we've already explored. Ah, oh, come on, Terraria. You disappoint me like that, bro? Oh, jeez. All right, well, I guess we're exploring this cave again, huh? All right, well, yeah. If I can get myself up to 400 health, I'm going to be a happy person, okay? So, let's just have a little bit of a look around. And, yeah, I mean, to be honest, I feel like I'm... Okay, well, I was about... <laughs> I was just about to say, I feel like I'm strong enough to explore the jungle at this point. But, uh, yeah, then I get immediately trapped, huh? All right, well, that's great. <laughs> well, looky here, guys. Two jungle shrines right next to each other. I don't know about you, folks, but I love it when this happens. What have we got? Oh, look at that. Building materials and a staff of regrowth. Don't mind if I do. I think that's absolutely fantastic. All right. So a lot of you guys were saying in terms of vein mining silk, you do it from the top. So let's do it from the top. Hey, you guys were right. That's how you do it. Okay, cool. Hmm. I guess for the most part, it's a case of trying to find the top of each little silk pile. But that's really, really awesome. I appreciate all of you guys' feedback about that because, uh, yeah, I did wonder. I did wonder. So, yeah, let's have a look. What do we got in this one? We have feral claws. Hey, not bad, guys. Not freaking bad. So, like I say, I'm looking for a heart crystal. There's got to be one around. To, the jungle is kind of known for all of its loot and all of its freaking heart crystals and such. So, it, it can't be that difficult. It surely can't be that difficult. Good day to you, Hornet. How about... Oh, God. No, 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 no. I don't want to die. Don't want to die. Don't actually want to die, sir. Uh, right. Good day. All right. I want to get this final heart crystal, bro. It's the last one I need. It's the last one. Oh, come on. There we go. And 400. Hey, absolutely beautiful, my friends. We done did it. We are up to 400 health. And as a result, I'm feeling pretty dang good. All right. Uh-oh. Oh, oh that stupid worm. Jeez. What is up with those guys, man? All right, let's go home. We're done, guys. We're done here. Uh, I don't suppose we managed to get any more graph potions because I didn't have any, like, quick stacked away or anything like that. So, yeah, I don't think we got any more, sadly. <sighs> oh, well. Doesn't matter. You win some, you lose some, right? That's how we roll. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Well, uh, iridescent brick. We've got claws. We've got stingers. we got... Oh, wait. No. The stingers are potion materials, right? Man-eater balls. What are they used for? Living dew. 
They are a hard mode thing. Okay, so not that useful right now, but later on, it will be useful. Fantastic. Okay, so I'm just going to quick stack everything here. Uh, what do we have going on over here? We've got quite a lot of stuff we can actually make here. Wormhole potions, recall, endurance potions. That's pretty cool. Uh, so what's next? The goblin army is actually the next step of progression, huh? Interesting, interesting. But let's be honest, guys. I don't think we're going to need those potion materials. Not for the most part, anyway, because check it out. We can buy a bunch of potions here. Glowing mushrooms, gel. We can buy gel. So in case we get a flamethrower of any kind or anything that uses gel for ammo. Uh, the overloaded blaster, I think, uses it as well. We could just buy things from here. Look at this. The base summoning potion. The angler amnesia potion. This one is very, very good for fishing stuffs, which is fantastic. Meteorite potion. Resurrection potion. Teleports you to your last death point. I'm going to buy a couple of them just in case things get a little bit hairy. But in the meantime, guys, I would like to go ahead and see what the other NPCs have. So if I go back up here... Hello, little lady. Let's see what you got. So all of the vanilla potions. Look at that. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, beautiful. Okay. And we can, like, change the shops as well. Oh, dude, this is fan free fantastic. So, let's go to the Calamity shop and check it out. Sunshine potion, lesser restoration potion. Uh, what else do we have? I mean, more potions? Nothing in there because we don't have that mod installed. Uh, what about this shop? Fourth shop, nothing there. Fifth shop for the wildlife mod. Uh, we've got a couple of things. Steelfall, Flux Glow, Deer Blood, and Tortoise Potion. Eee. So, yeah, for the most part, we will, of course, be using the Vanilla Shop. So, yeah, look at that, guys. Awesome. And would you look at that? Even though I've not technically taken down the goblins, I can buy this. Well, guys, that's what we're going to be doing next, huh? The next step of progression is the Goblin Army, and then after that, it's going to be Crabulon, the second modded boss. So... All we gotta do is just sort of go with the flow, right? Yeah. Alright, guys. Here we go. Oh, yeah, they're all spawning down there, huh? Alright, well, that's a bit of a jerk move, huh? Alright, and now they're all up here. Hello. Hello. Would you all like to die? I know you would like to die. Oh, my word. Okay, well, yep, yeah, they're getting absolutely destroyed. Ah, <laughs> oh, I do love the Kamal Spout. I think it's a fantastic weapon. I really, really do. So, yeah. Oh, is that it? All right. Well, uh, that was the Goblin Army, ladies and gentlemen. No, it wasn't. It really, really wasn't. They're going to be spawning somewhere else. I'm kind of surprised, actually. They should be spawning here because I feel like this would be considered a town. Right? I'm very confused. Oh, they are spawning here after all. Well, there we go, my friends. I guess we're going ahead and taking down the Goblin Army. The only thing is, the sea bow that I'm using right now is actually cursed, so it's going to be very much hindering my life regen. In fact, we won't be regenerating life at all. We'll be slowly losing life as we go along, so yeah, just something to bear in mind. Good day to you, sirs. Go ahead and get destroyed. Go on. Goodbye. All right. Yeah. We should get a few gold coins from this as well, but honestly, it's not going to be much in the grand scheme of things, especially considering we've already got several platinum coins, so yeah. All right, well, guys, you've seen the Goblin Army many, many times before, so I think I'm just going to go and speed this up a bit. Ah, look at me just absolutely mowing these guys down. Sometimes, guys, the old ways are the best ways. I feel like half of my weapons are freaking cursed, which sucks, obviously. So, uh, yeah. How about you guys all go bye-byes? Hey, a plasma rod. Hey, we finally got a modern weapon, my friends. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. All right. Uh, oh, another archer. The archers have got to be the most pain in the butt enemies out of this event, honestly. Yeah, they're kind of insane, but oh well. Everything is fine. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Oh, there you go. Get wrecked. Yeah, there's a whole... Oh, God. I hate it when there's like a whole army of these guys. Then it's like they machine bow me, and there's like no way of preventing them from doing so. It's just absolutely stupid. All right, come on. We're nearly done. Come on. You're going to die, sir. Go on, get out of here. And you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You dead, and you dead, and I'm just going to continue mowing these guys down. It's a fun time. I like mowing these guys down. The freaking mandible claws are very, very nice weapons. They really, really are. Look at this. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful freaking sight, huh? Yay. Look at you freaking teleporting either side of me. I'm not about this life, okay? 
So how about you just go bye bye and everything will be fine and dandy. All right, we're nearly done at this point, my friends. So I'm going to keep you guys with me. Uh, so, yeah. Goblin army is defeated. A goblin army is defeated. I like how it says A and not the. Like, on the other invasions, I feel like it says... I'm pretty sure it says, like, the pirate invasion has been defeated as opposed to A. I feel like A is a better word to use considering you can have more than one invasion. So, yeah. Oh, my word. What? 48 melee damage? Wow. That's insane. But again, this one has got mana cost now. 48 melee damage. That is more than my enchanted sword. Holy moly. That's a lot, huh? That is actually legitimately a lot. God damn. All right, and of course, we've got the plasma rod, which I feel like has always been a good weapon to take down the hive mind with, the hive mind slash perforators. So maybe we can give that a go a little later down the line. But guys, we haven't done too bad today. We've explored some planetoids. We've explored uh, some various things underground. We've had some fun with some teleportation potions, and we've taken down the goblin army. Like, honestly, in terms of progression... We're looking pretty good, guys. We're looking pretty good. I felt like I wanted to take a little bit of a break from uh, building. But I feel like next episode, we'll get back to it. We'll start getting ourselves some little floating vine houses going on. And then, of course, we'll probably also fill in the, the uh, top tree areas with NPC houses as well. And, of course, we've got the basement to do. We've got a lot of things to do with this base, basically. So, yeah. Guys, for now, though, we're going to go and end this particular episode right here, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, please do be sure to let me know with a like rating. It would mean the world to me if you dropped one down below. Hit the subscribe button. Ding that bell if you guys don't want to miss out on future content. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day as always. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.